Hey, what is up everybody? Blades for here and today for you guys another video of Persona 5X. Inside today's video, guys, we are going to be doing a first impressions or first reaction of the man Mesa himself here, in which is going to not only be just showing, of course, the whole character trailer, but also showing the skills in which we do have translated by the man none other than Tycon here. So there's a ton, ton of stuff here that we're going to be going over. I have not read any of it, so it's going to be an interesting time here. But I first wanted to look at this first. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the video for yourself, be sure to go ahead and actually look at Lotus screen here and check them out. So you guys should be able to hear the background music a little bit. Oh, homie. What that smirk is it's so devious. <laughs> oh, the homies just sick. Homies actually sick. All right, so now we're getting into the actual character look. So let's go ahead and take a good look, and then we'll break it down afterwards. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. The animations look so nice, though. Yep, and we were correct about the five star. So here's the five star weapon looking kind of nice. Oh, I love that cut in. Cut in is clean, though. All right, so that was the full on look of the actual trailer here. So first impressions of it. First of all, that was just clean. Looks freaking nice. Of course, we got to see the side of his second uh, little form here, most likely being the executioner looking form here. Yeah, hunter and executioner state and which is fairly, fairly interesting. Now, of course, he does have bleed. It seems like it works just like in uh, Star Rail as well as other things, too. So I do like how that is working. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at firstly the skills and his passive, of course. So passive being a zero is Reaper's victory. And apparently him and Hunter and Executioner State, each state will give him different skills, of course, which he does start as Hunter. Now, while in Hunter, of course, dealing one hit or at least dealing a hit of damage with a certain skill that has a chance to, of course, stack bleed. When the enemy is bleed defeated or has bleed on them, of course, um it will end up actually going to the next enemy once they're dead so that's pretty dang good in general and then of course for the executioner skill as we can see is every time they use a skill three extra stacks of bleed which is already nice and then of course he does some action oh he does an additional damage which is laceration which is really really cool as well um oh that's where the physical side comes in so this is going to mainly be for the physical damage part of his build which i find that very very nice and then of course each turn for the bleed does or at least the bleed does happen is almighty damage that ends up happening and a percentage of your own max hp contributes to the attack 
physical damage for 10 for four turns up to 10 stacks see i figured that's how that freaking works because he has a lot of hp as a character and you would think of course with the amount of hp they were going to end up making him more of an hp based character so seeing that his actual awareness is this that's already pretty darn good as well so i already can see how we're going to most likely try to build this guy but for his first skill here incision technique here he does um the hunter damage which is the physical side and bleed here where physical damage to one enemy up to four times here and can inflict a stack of bleed so that's already freaking nice um, and then we have the second skill called lethal pleasure in which in the hunter damage side of things it deals physical damage to one enemy two times but can also immediately trigger all bleed damage so this automatically refreshes it so what this is pretty much it is literally a detonate so once you have a certain amount of bleed on there you would end up using the lethal pleasure and this acts as like a detonate card to some extent to actually make the bleeds proc even harder and actually refresh the actual duration of it so that's actually really really cool i feel like that's going to be really overpowered if you think about it especially seeing you can just refresh the bleed over and over again i feel like that's going to be kind of interesting now um, next third skill, which this is how he swaps his actual modes from at least his hunter to now executioner. This unlocks automatically if you have seven or more bleed stacks and he's able to, of course, transform to executioner. This change all his skills gaining to an effect here in which he can go three stacks of bleed on a single target. And he does actually an instant of laceration, which is already really, really good in general here. And then, of course, after using the skill, you can still use other skills at the end of the turn, but you will end up going back to the hunter form. So this doesn't last long. I have a feeling with his other awarenesses, this can actually last even longer. And that is where the scary part is going to get to because I know those awarenesses most likely will be actually cracked. So pretty darn decent with that. I really do like that here. Um, we finally know the amount of bleeds needed in order to get him to this form. So that is kind of nice. It's kind of like a race to the bleed effect so pretty nice pretty nice but then of course we have his skills that are changed executioner skills sinful gain in which he does a lot of physical damage to one one but also removes two stacks of bleed after the skill so this allows him to actually detonate this bleed no matter what and it actually uh removes them in total so once you use this those bleeds are gone um executioner skill 2 called curtain call oh that is a lovely freaking uh name for that skill i'm not gonna lie but heavy physical damage for each bleed stack on the target increases the skill damage by a certain percentage and removes all bleeds of course once again this is where you want to do your big boy damage and removes those bleeds so try to stack up a lot of them all right and then the highlighter he will transform the hunter immediately adding five stacks of bleed to the enemy after it's transfer into executioner oh hey he goes through both forms that's kind of nice and actually does um what's it called laceration if you are actually under the executioner so that's nice next we have his actual weapon which is crimson weaver this actually gives him pin oh and attack with increased damage though that's actually kind of insane that's actually really really good with his two passives being infest and fester and they're based on ehr someone was right holy crap wait him oh my god guys think about it hold on wait him moko and freaking um haru might actually be dummy wait we could do something crazy with this this is actually good that's actually that automatically gets him up on the list a little bit that's actually good right there holy crap so he increases his pin he actually has um the bleed multiplier as well which is nice and then his awarenesses now, when he's in the hunter state for the first time, you can deal skill damage to each enemy, inflicting a certain amount of bleed. Um, when the executioner state, he increases the skill damage on debuffs on the target. Now, that's actually already nice. Skill two, just combat level up. Skill three, increases laceration skill multiplier, restores the HP, which is pretty decent, already nice. Um, nothing there. Then skill five, of course, the HL um, effect is already up. And then the actual awareness six here, we all fall down, increases bleed cap. All enemy bleed stacks will never drop below a certain stack. Ooh. And then when in executioner state, using sinful game will no longer remove. Oh, that's just freaking busted. That's just freaking busted. I hate that he's before Futaba. That's just broken. I would actually go for this. But God dang, that is actually busted. Because then you can just start spamming that mug. You know what? Yeah, no, this character, I'll have a video for it. 
summon or skip i feel like you should at least summon just to get the man he's already cracked but that's freaking awesome holy crap but without further ado you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button with your forehead and consider subscribing if you are new we do daily p5x videos and i'm going to be coming out with another one immediately probably around like two o'clock so look out for that as well but um yeah your boy gotta get to work because it's literally one minute before work so yeah i'm already gonna be late but peace out <laughs>